You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. Under the patronage of the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the third week of falconry and hunting competition continued today. The organizing committee announced the postponement of the competitions of Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa Cup to Thursday due to the wave of dust and wind force today. The falconry competition is held under the cups of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the cups of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The fourth week of the competition will also be held next Thursday. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, the BREEF, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the second edition of the international late Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa Arabian Horse Beauty Competition continued today. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed pride and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for supporting the competition and aiding in its success, affirming that the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation led by Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa is keen on presenting the competition in the best manner. His Highness congratulated all participants in the competition, noting that the kingdom is known for this sport, which receives great attention from owners and stables. His Highness Sheikh Nasser commended the efforts of the High Organizing Committee led by Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid and the Organizing Committee led by Dr. Khaled Ahmed and all the members. The competition concluded with various competitions today and yesterday. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, the BREEF, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and in the presence of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Deputy President of the Supreme Council for the Environment and President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the second edition of the international late Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa Arabian Horse Beauty Competition was held yesterday at the Bahrain International Endurance Racetrack. His Highness Sheikh Nasser highlighted the distinguished status of the kingdom in organizing international competitions, which comes as a result of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He also hailed the wide participation of the competition, wishing all participants success. His Highness hailed the efforts of the organizing committee and BREEF in organizing the event, adding that launching, this, launching rather, the second edition of the competition reflects its big success. For his part, his Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa valued His Highness Sheikh Nasser's patronage of the competition, highlighting his efforts in implementing the vision of the leadership to promote the kingdom in the sport's global map. He also wished all participants success in the competition.
Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the third week of falconry and hunting competition continued with the participation of a large group of owners and falconers in the kingdom. It was held for the cup of Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Bahrain team won first place in the free category after the team presented a special performance on the second day of the third week of the competition. His Highness praised the distinguished performance presented by the owners and falconers for the third week in a row, pointing out that the competition is developing week by week. He explained that the coming weeks will be more exciting in light of the keenness of owners and falconers to appear distinctly and reflect the development of this sport. Bahrain team was qualified for the Elite Cup of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The third week will end with the Arabian Horse Race for 1500 meters, the Camel Race for 1000 meters and the Salugis for 1500 kilometers. In the presence of the Deputy Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Hisham bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham Al Jodar, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, organized the 12th horse race meeting for the season at Rafah and Sakhir. It was held for the cups of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs and the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. At the end of the race, the winners were honored.
At the invitation of the Council of Representatives, Speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah, a delegation from the Egyptian House of Representatives, will visit the Kingdom of Bahrain led by Speaker of the House of Representatives, Dr. Ali Abdul Al Sayyid Ahmed, from January the 20th until the 23rd. The Egyptian parliamentary delegation will hold a number of meetings with authorities and the legislative and executive branches in Bahrain. This visit comes within the framework of coordination and joint parliamentary work between the Bahraini Council of Representatives with its Egyptian counterpart and to consolidate fraternal and friendly relations between the two countries. The visit also affirms the great role of parliamentary diplomacy in coordinating joint stances between the two countries in all international parliamentary forums to support the issues of the Arab nation and achieve the aspirations of the Arab people. The delegation will be briefed on the programs and plans of the General Secretariat of the Council of Representatives and the efforts exerted to improve parliamentary work in Bahrain. They will also be briefed on the General Secretariat's experience in supporting the training process through the establishment of the Bahrain Parliamentary Training Center and the work of the various parliamentary committees and the deputy speakers and members and the submission of proposals and laws and legislation that benefit the country and the people. Under the implementation of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa during the Government Forum 2017 held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa at the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to hold workshops to determine mechanisms and identify the priorities of the Government Action Plan 2019-2022, the Deputy Premier and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs, Jawad Salem Al-Arayyab, announced the convening of the two coordination meetings on the Government performance and the legislative themes of the government action plan will be held on Monday and Tuesday, respectively. The relevant undersecretaries, assistant undersecretaries and directors will attend the meetings, which are preparatory for their workshop on the legislative and government performance themes to be held on January the 28th under the Deputy Premier's chairmanship. The workshop will be the second in a series of workshops devoted to developing government action plan mechanisms and priorities. The meetings will discuss the already submitted visions of ministries and government departments on their executive procedures and future projects related to the two themes. They will also feature in-depth discussions on the policies and objectives that will be submitted to the final workshop on the future expectations to be held in March under the chairmanship of the Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa and which will be the basis for the preparation of the Government Action Plan 2019-2022. The first workshop held last November under the chairmanship of the Deputy Premier Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa tackled the Government Action Plan's infrastructure, financial and economic themes while the third workshop to be chaired by the Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa will be held in February and will be devoted to the Government Action Plan Services and Environment theme. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed this week with 20,629,000 shares worth 2,726,000 Bahraini dinars conducted through 367 transactions. Investors traded in 18 companies, 10 witnessed the rise in shares, 3 fell and the rest maintained their shares. The commercial banks was the leading sector and the services sector came in second. The total non-oil products imports in Bahrain reached about 4.9 billion dinars during 2017, compared with 4.3 billion in 2016, marking an increase of 11 percent. Official figures showed that the total non-oil exports amounted to 2.6 billion dinars during the same period to reach a balance of trade deficit of 2.3 billion during the last year. The data indicated that China ranked first in terms of volume of imports to Bahrain, which exceeded 621 million dinars. The UAE came in second with 494 and the US came in third with 364 million in 2017. Bahrain Economic Development Board and Abu Dhabi Global Market have signed a fintech cooperation agreement, the first in the Middle East and North Africa region. With the new partnership, Bahrain and UAE will explore initiatives to promote economic growth and financial services through the adoption of new technology. The agreement comes as the fintech sector has witnessed approximately $50 billion in investment globally. The agreement will allow for a closer collaboration on the exchange of information on trends, services and products, leading to a closer relationship in the development of Islamic finance and fintech initiatives across the region.